Hey YouTube, Brutal Moodle here, back in Whoopo. It's time to see if I can find a new place to live. Last time we made our way back into Carlos's hotel, or whatever this is. And in fact, my controller's not working. There, fuck, there it fucking is. Uh, oh, I'm wearing the vacuum on my head still. Anyway, we were in Carlos' hotel. I wonder if I can go to my old room. Probably not, it's probably still locked. Oh shit. Oh fuck! Uh, shit, do I need to explore these doors? As I was saying, fuck, we... Never mind, I'm not even gonna explain it. You guys go watch the other video. I keep going to get interrupted by this game. How dare this game try to progress me through the story? Uh, hi, do you want a black cake? I don't know, is that a, is that a racist cake? Can I have a white cake? The, what is the color of the cake matter? All right, uh, sure, fuck it, it's cake, I'll eat it. It doesn't really matter what color it is. Okay, here! Oh, hell yeah! Okay, that just happened! Something smells fishy here, and it's not the cake! I wonder if it belongs to someone! I don't know, hey dude, does this cake belong to you? Oh shit, sorry I'm breaking all your fucking shit! Oh, what a dick I am! Oh, I just caused all sorts of problems in this hotel! Greetings, young one! Are you up for one of Bert Smolder's famous stories? Uh, story time? God, fucking all these people in one land have just stories up the ass. Let's fucking hear it. Him and Papa Smurf. I have a new story for you. Would you like to hear it? I just fucking told you yes. Uh, yes, I'd like, uh, yes. Yes! Tell me the goddamn story! This is a story about me during the war. I was the almighty general that led the Fnackers into the sinkhole. Thanks to my genius invention. What invention I hear you think? The magical combination of Splank and Bless Water! Yes, one. When Splank gets in contact with Bless Water, it grows enormous. I am no scientist, but Splank is a very dense material. It is looking for an opportunity to match its size to its weight. Hot water is the answer to that! Fuck, wow, this guy sounds like a scientist. Yes, yes. The ones back in the day looked at me like I was some sort of genius. They were making the same face that you are making right now at this very exact moment. But I can't blame them. I mean, I'm quite a genius, even if I say so myself. Didn't you just say you weren't some sort of genius or sci scientist? I don't fucking know. Legendary Bolt Smilder, the inventor of the leading technology for years to come. I led an army of blusters and splank hangers to create giant splank bullets, driving the Fnackers to flee and ultimately, ultimately falling down the sinkhole. Isn't that genius? Tell me that's genius! You are a genius, Bolt Smolder. That's fucking what he wants to hear. Fuck, I'll, I'll give it to him. Their bodies shook from fear. Haha! <laughs> yes, I prove that ones are superior to all the other races, thanks to our inven inventive minds. This kind of seems like you might be a bad guy. Is he twitching? Well, what, what? Okay, maybe not. Uh, but we didn't stop there. The combination of Splink and Blesswater all also proved to be a magnificent mechanic for building structures. For the creation of one house, I simply stacked four pieces of Splank twice, and I then let the blusters fill them with water. Within hours, we built the biggest structure in history. I believe even Popo City hasn't beaten it yet. Bert Smolder, creator of the tallest building in history of one kind. I sure do have a lot of titles, one. You must be impressed by now. Well, fuck, how can I not be impressed with that little resume you have going on? Uh... You do seem like you're a bit full of yourself. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Full of myself? Why do you think I am? How dare you to insult Bert Smolder? Ridiculous. That's it? Oh, Bert Smolder. I loved your tales, but you are kind of full of yourself. Yeah, I guess I'm glad I kind of... Uh, not glad, I, I don't feel sorry that I broke all your teapots and shit. Ooh, there's more up here! Fuck your teapots and shit! Break all your Bert Smolder's shit! You don't deserve to have this, because you're full of yourself! And if you're full of yourself, that's not a good thing to live life like. Right? Should I talk to Bolt Smolder again? No, fuck that guy. He's full of himself. How, how do I get up here? Oh, fuck. Uh... There's a lot of places in this, uh, hotel. Can I get in there? Can I... Uh, is that, I don't know if there's a special button I need to press to get in. Oh, shit. Oh, can I still clean? I guess I can. I, I assume I use this for something else in the game. Uh, shit. I wanna go talk to this old guy. He looks happy. He's nice and peaceful, though. What's up with this picture up there? So, 
Oh, these are all the good guys? Those guys look like the friends are like holding hands. There's like a little Mexican guy at the second from the left. Uh, two piles of turds on, sitting on top of each other. Alright, that's a beautiful picture. Oh fuck, the phone's ringing! I was gonna leave, but I'll answer this. Hello? Is it you? Ha! I told you I'd call you every day! Dot dot dot. Bye! How the fuck did he know I was in this room? Oh shit! Man, Carlo was on top of it. He knows where I am. There's eyes in this building. Just watching my every move. Can I go in here? No. They're chilling. What about you? Can I talk to you? Hello! I'm the creator of Protoprot. Protopod. Protopot? I don't know. Protopod, aka the po Popo City Promotion Team. Do you need any help? Uh. Tell me about Protopo. Prot. Me and a couple of other Popos want to want to promote traveling to Popo City. We sell Popo chip cards, but I think we're out now. My colleagues went to get more Popo chip cards in Popo City a couple days ago, but apparently there are none left. They say that Popo City is currently focused on acquiring credit. They almost reached their goal. Credit? Yeah, in Popo City, they use a credit system. Instead of getting paid with smurt like we used to do here, they get paid with credit. The total credit amount is an indicator that shows how hard the popos are working, and the faster it increases, the, most mo the more motivated they are. Credit isn't anything personal. When you earn credit, you earn it for the city. Once the city reaches a certain amount of credit, they usually reward the city. This time, it'll be the next huge city expansion. Oh man, that sounds pretty confusing to me. Can I take a shower in here? Probably not. I saw, it looked like those people's doors opened downstairs. I'm gonna go check them out. I can't go in there to save, okay. Did they not open up? Oh, what are they talking about? They're talking about something though. We're so going to Popo City. Yeah! I guess I should probably go to Popo City and live there since everyone says it's the shit. Uh... Oh, don't mind if I just join you in here in your bathtub. Yeah, sometimes it really seems like time goes faster when you're just relaxing in here. You should equip a clock to see what I'm talking about. Do I have a fucking clock? Hey, hey buddy, I, w I would equip a, equip a clock, but I don't have one. I, I guess that's how I uh, make switch between like day and night? By having a clock and coming to that place? That's kind of cool. There's like a, I, I knew there was a day and night system. I didn't know it would be play that important of a part to this game though. Obviously I only have two days to fucking find a place before Carl kicks my ass out though. Uh, let's fucking see what's over here. Man, this place is fucking huge. What the fuck are you? You have a birdhouse on your head. I'd really like to take the popo train sometime. Who are you? I'm Willy! I'm the one that maintains the carillon on top of the womp house. However, for a while I haven't been able to go up due to a dust explosion that enabled the lift to reach this, the fifth floor. In the meantime, I've been watching a lot of TV and I guess I got a little addicted to the Willy show. It's a, it's this amazing quiz that asks one super hard questions. If they give the correct answers, they can win all sorts of prizes. It's probably one of those train stations that the Popo train stops at. I really want to go there. But the Carillon, what's the Carillon? Yeah, that's the only problem. If I leave to visit Willy Show or any other train station, I can't maintain the Carillon. I can help. Yeah, fuck yeah. Are you saying you can take over the maintenance so I can leave this place? That would be perfect! But teaching you what to do would take days of hard work. Unless you already happen to know everything you need to know. This calls for a quiz! Let's go to my secret quiz room. Follow me! Oh, fuck yeah, we're gonna go take a fucking quiz and see if I can pass. I'm, I'm following you, buddy! You seem like you know what you're doing in this little life of wombs that we're playing in uh, Wuppo. Wait, is my name Wuppo? Oh, what the fuck? Look at that guy. You're so so cute how he just jumps. I mean, I'm cute too. You're like this cute old guy. All right, let's go ride with Luigi. We go. Oh, follow, follow, keep on following you in the quiz room. Shit. Shit. Dude, keep up or hold up. Hold up. Oh, Willie's quiz. Welcome everyone! Welcome to Willie's Witty Wisdom Quiz! Give a big welcome to our guest! Uh... Shit! All these sound great- I like the great guester and the Carolyn Master. This makes me seem like I, didn't, I know what I'm doing, and this obviously makes it seem like I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna- I'm gonna go with the Master. The Carolyn Master! The Carolyn Master! The prize for today is access to the roof of the Wum House! 
I will personally gift you my hat to you if you manage to make it through this quiz. Now, does the Carolyn Master happen to know the correct answer to the following question? How many times does the Carolyn ring when it becomes nighttime? Holy fuck, how am I supposed to know? Shit. One. That is correct! Well, fuck yeah! Well done! You truly live up to your name, now the Carolyn Master. Here comes the next one. Can you hear the Carolyn from the train station? I don't- have I- I've, I don't think I've ever been to the train station, no? Well, I guess you could say... Eh, uh, dang it. That's wrong! Ouch! First wrong answer by the Carolyn Master. That must damage your image by a lot. But don't worry, it'll get easier every time. But this next question is definitely not easy. The final question! This question is multiple choice, so pay close attention. When you are on the fifth floor of the roof, you will notice the Carolyn doing some sp something special. Pick from the following answers. A. It plays a full song. B. It changes color. C. It lights up. Fuck, I'm gonna say C. It transforms into a robot. I don't think it's D. Tell me, what does the Carolyn do? Uh, fuck, I don't know. This is all guesses to work to me. I don't know if I should be knowing this time. It's a difficult one, isn't it? I'm going to help you a little. I'm telling you that both B and D are wrong, and I'm going to allow you to change your answer. Do you want to switch your answer? Shit, I don't know. I thought I'd just change the day. I'm gonna stick with my guts, even though it sounds like he's trying to help me out. Well, I guess you could say... Eh, dang it. That's wrong! Fuck, I should've chosen A. Oh no, you have lost the quiz! Um, well... I still kind of want to leave the White House anyway. Should we just pretend that you won? <laughs> Probably the best, yeah. Congratulations, you did it! The Carolyn Master will now get access to the roof of the White House. The Carolyn Master failed the Carolyn quiz and he's giving me access. What was the point of fucking doing that? Okay, I hereby gift you my ha my hat. Yeah, I have access. Sweet. Fucking sweet. Thanks for helping me, so I can follow my dream. I hope you enjoy the Carolyn. I'm just making sure I have everything I need and then I'll be leaving. See you! So maybe we can, uh... Is this gonna ring? Yeah, fuck your things! Yeah! Yeah, eat shit! All of you things fall down, what's the point of that? Just to prove how much of a dick I am? How much I hate this hotel of just always breaking everything? Ooh, what's this? Is this does this open? Oh, oh, Vic, I got a thing. Huh? It, I can clean shit down there. Can I make my way down there? Can I? Let me see if I can make my way down there and clean up some shit. Yeah! Oh, fuck, it's closed. But I... I have this beautiful vacuum that helps clean. Uh, there's the bell. Ah, it does only ring once. Maybe I subliminally knew that. Subliminally? I thought I heard noise. Uh, okay. Uh, fuck it. I'm gonna save it right there, and maybe next time I'll be able to make it up to the fifth floor, because now I have my sweet hat that allows me to do so. Although, I need to finish exploring the rest of this giant freaking place, unless I'm gonna get kicked out, because I've been here for two days, I think. But, thank you guys so much for watching this video! Make sure you give a like, subscribe, uh, comment down below, let me know of any other games you'd like to see me play. Plus, thanks for everyone, of course! And I will see all of you in the next video.